Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to code into Google Apps Script uh, a, a function that will calculate the distance between two locations. We're going to start with an origin, we're going to start with and then end with a destination, and then this function will output this number here, which is the uh, the distance between these two places. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to go into detail about the different steps. So once you have your spreadsheet open, you just go into Tools or Extensions and App Script. Click App Script, and it'll take you over to a, uh, a new tab where you can insert this code. So let's start by declaring a function. And what should we call this function? Uh, let's just call it something descriptive like origin destination distance okay and that origin destination distance is going to take two variables and we'll call one origin one destination and we're going to have to set up a variable called total you know we don't even need that we don't need that we're going to set up a variable called directions and equal maps dot new direction finder and set origin which is going to correspond to make sure it's capital O the variable we're passing in which is called which we've named origin already we're going to set des oops make sure it's dot dot set destination and that's going to be destination we're going to set the mode which is maps dot direction finder dot mode dot driving there are uh, you know obviously other ways bicycling transit walking we're going to do driving And we're going to execute get directions. And from there, we go into var route, create a new variable called route, set it to equal directions.routes of zero dot legs of zero dot distance dot value and then this function will return and whatever is returned is what will be outputted to the cell is directions dot routes dot legs of zero dot distance dot text all right so that will return our distance value in miles. So let's take this function code and we'll look at our origins and destinations <clears throat> and we'll set origin destination distance open parentheses this is our origin this is our destination so B5 C5 and that should hopefully help oh, we got an error. Unknown function origin destination distance. Huh, that's odd. Oh, you know what? We didn't save it. Don't forget to save it. <laughs> Usually it auto saves. Cannot read property zero of undefined. That's because I forgot to add the zero here. There you go. I've clicked refresh, and now we have refreshed it. So the distance between West Palm Beach or er, and Los Angeles is twenty six hundred miles.
Times Square to this part place in Gainesville, Florida is a thousand miles, and then New Paltz, New York to Poughkeepsie is twelve miles. We can probably do another test like, um, you know, let's do uh, New York City, New York, or no, just New York. Let's do New York, New York to Philadelphia, PA. We'll see if that looks about right. Yeah, 96 miles. That, that, or 94 miles. Yeah, that's about right. So, yeah, that's how you create a function that will return the distance between two, uh, between two, uh, you know, places. I, I wonder, I wonder if we can do this here. What if we, uh, what if we inserted a third one called method? Right. And we put that there, right? All that's gonna break, right? But here's what we're gonna do. We'll do a method, and we'll call it driving. And now, let's see if that works. Does that work? That's the question. Nope. Definitely doesn't want that. Well, it was worth a shot, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, that's how you do it. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.